Hello, yes. Today it's time to tackle the accents and language of those cheerful plunderers of every type of booty, the Dothraki. The Dothraki language was invented for the show by David J. Peterson of the Language Creation Society. He delivered over 1,700 words to HBO before the show even began shooting. Talk about a swat. Now given that the Dothraki accent is a mixture of Spanish and Arabic, and that every Dothraki speaks in that way, it's probably best I get that out of the way early and just focus on each individual character and the tone they convey. Carl Drogo, the King Pony himself, has a low commanding primal tone, his words being more like grunts than anything articulate. Drogo doesn't need to speak much because his presence alone does all the talking, and when he does speak it's straight to the point, no unnecessary words. Anna. Kotho is snappy and filled with venom. There's a constant sneer behind his voice, like he doesn't care what anyone thinks. He speaks quickly with a biting edge. <laughs> has a gravelly and deep but quieter voice than Drogo. He sounds a little more controlled but still aggressive when needed. Mago speaks in a harsh, fast and fiery tone of voice. He is quick to snap, often raising his voice when getting heated, which is most of the time. Youthful but firm, Ricaro speaks with energy and enthusiasm, though there's a seriousness to his tone when things get intense. Brash and eager, with a slightly playful edge, Cavaro's voice has a bit more personality. Cavaro says that Malacca is an idiot. They can pry out the gems, the rest is pure gold. Very soft. He can chop off as much as we can carry. Iri sounds soft and respectful. She speaks with care, her tone always gentle, especially around Daenerys. <laughs> Moon is no egg. Moon is goddess, wife of sun. It is known. It is known. Doria's voice is seductive, just like she was trained to sound. She has an undertone that suggests she's always in control of the conversation. Daria is very calculating though, as we discover, and she uses her charm and wit to those ends. Yes, seeing a dragon would make me very happy. Well, after 15 years in a pleasure house, I imagine just seeing the sky makes you happy. Assertive, but not overbearing, Kono's voice has a sharp edge to it, especially when he's in battle mode but he can also be surprisingly respectful when the situation calls for it. <laughs> Commanding and filled with confidence, Moro's voice is full of swagger with a mocking tone that suggests he's already won any argument before it started. <laughs> Ralko's voice doesn't need to be loud to be intimidating. There's a sense of menace behind every word. Forzo and Brojo have matching tones of cruelty and playfulness. They speak with a mocking edge, often finishing each other's sentences like one of those annoying couples you get stuck with on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> the Dothraki crone has a cracked slow voice that's full of wisdom and age. The high priestess's voice carries a spiritual quality as if pulling from a higher power. She speaks in a hypnotic rhythm. Ego has a raspy, worn-down accent like he spent too long riding and drinking. 
Ago is very deliberate and to the point. No time for bullshit. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe so I can get a little thrill when I watch the numbers go up. Bye then.